sheep. Once they were wild, but now most are domesticated. Scientifically speaking, domestication is a process whereby humans modify certain species of wild animals physiologically and behaviorally and turn them into something else. How? By maintaining them in or near human habitation and by breeding only from those best suited for human objectives. The domestication of wild animals started about 10,000 BC, as far as we know. To domesticate wild animals, let's say sheep, first, we must limit their mobility and reorganize their community. Then, we take control of their reproductive lives. That's how we turn them into something useful. To get them to stay in one place, we might use whips, prods, or hooks to get them inside. Then there's the hobble, where we tie two legs together so they can't wander away. The dominant male, the leader of the herd, must be eliminated. As protector of his flock, he would give us the most trouble. Domesticated sheep do not naturally shed their wool, so first we would shear him, then kill him, then eat or sell him. Most of the basic procedures and objectives in sheep slaughter are similar to those of other meat species. Without the leader, separating the herd by sex and removing the lambs from their mothers is easy. Now we can begin to radically alter their reproductive lives. First, we isolate the best male, the healthiest one with the best features, and the strongest sperm count. Let's call him the ram. As for the rest of the males, we shear them, kill them, and eat or sell them, or geld them that is, remove their testes. Males are more manageable without these parts. Gelding eliminates the unwanted restlessness that sexual excitement causes and thus indiscriminate mating of females in estrus. Gelded horses, mules, and camels can be trained to work, to haul supplies, drag a plow, or carry us around. Sheep are too small for these things, so most likely we would choose to shear them, kill them, and eat or sell them. We must brand each sheep. If they wander, or are stolen, or if we want to sell them later, we would need proof of our property rights. All this time, we've been milking the female sheep, called ewes, who have given birth. We pasteurize their milk, then turn it into cheese, yogurt, and other products to be sold on the market. Meanwhile, we'd use our ram to impregnate those ewes whose lambs have already been weaned. A ewe can be impregnated every 145 days. Male lambs are slaughtered at four to six months. Lamb meat is especially juicy and tender and commands a high price. But we would save one lamb, the best one. And when he has matured, he would replace the exhausted old ram. As for the female lambs, when they mature at about one year, they would be impregnated to produce more milk and more lambs. Because most sheep are raised on factory farms and no longer forage on their own, we would take charge of their diet. Taking them out to pasture requires labor, time, and grazing land. It's much more efficient to bring food to them, hay or concentrates or something else grown or bought for that purpose. Soon enough, these sheep are transformed into something new, Something more like machines. Wool, meat, and milk machines. 
They've become used to the lack of privacy and absence of community. Now they have no will of their own and are completely dependent on us. The reorganization of reproductive life, enforcing chastity, repressing sexuality, and controlling breeding. Some say all this was learned from the domestication of sheep. They say this was the model for human slavery and for the sexual subjugation of women. At first, the large-scale exploitation of female captives, then wives and daughters. So these are the mammals with hoofs. They work for us. They provide food. They even supply raw materials for our clothing. Throughout history, we have domesticated hoofed mammals and have come to appreciate them not only for their usefulness, but for their beauty. There is probably no group of animals more important to us today than the mammals with hoofs. What is your attitude towards sheep? Do you enjoy late-night checks in the lambing barn? Would you be willing to brave cold rains or snowstorms to feed and care for them? Would you miss a ball game or a social event to be sure the sheep were protected from marauding dogs? If you do not have a positive attitude, do not try to raise sheep. <laughs> 